Select the type of wall from this list, like so. You can change the building height this way. Welcome and stay till the end, I have a little gift for you. All of this is with geometry nodes. We don't even have to learn geometry nodes. Thanks to Pavel Oliva, we have this Buildify 1.0 node setup, where all of these nodes are already there. You don't have to donate anything, but I highly encourage you to donate more, because this node setup is invaluable. What you would get is a blend file. It looks different somehow, but uh, it's okay. So I'm gonna select all and copy it to a new blend file. So this is one building. You might want to change it and customize according to your desires. First off, let me switch to look dev mode. It looks pretty detailed. Switch to geometry nodes to see the behind scenes of this. This is it. The point of this video is not to teach you geometry nodes. So I'm not going to explain each of these nodes. We are going to change some of the parameters in these nodes, especially on this side of the node setup. So this is the roof. These are model collections. You can change the density of the models here, offset of the roof. You can even randomize the distribution of these details on the roof. We can change the rest of the details as well. The top trim, middle floors and ground floors. And even these props. Go to the layout tab. We are going to create our own building. Add a plane. Move it over here. Scale it. Make sure it has dimensions in the multiples of 3. Because this node setup is made for modules with uh, 3 meters height and uh, 3 meters length. I try to change it, but it's kind of messy. So we'll not try that. I'll make some extrusions, but everything in the multiples of 3. Here I'm using 15 meters. This edge I'll extrude by 6 meters. Next, go to modifier properties and add the geometry nodes modifier. Click this button and select this first node setup building, which converts our plane into a weird thing. So this should remind you the importance of applying the scale in Blender. Let me disable the modifier for a moment and apply the scale. Now it's working like it should. We can change the height of the building here. I want to change these original modules. Let me go to the initial building and disable the modifier. So these are the modules that I was talking about. I am going to model one of these modules on my own. It's pretty simple. At the cube, go to the edit mode and lift it up. Change the dimensions like this. I am keeping the dimensions of my module, similar to the dimensions of the original one. Add a few loop cuts, scale them. Select these faces and extrude a couple of times. Now we should add materials to this module. I am using one of my favorite add-ons, the ECBBR add-on. We will go with this brick texture. Unwrap the object, choose cube projection. We need to scale this properly. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bricks. One brick is about 65 millimeters. So 3 meters divided by 65 millimeters, it is uh, 46 point something. We have 14 bricks only. So we should scale this by 3.3. .3. Now we need glass material also. I am too lazy to make a new glass material. Let me add a window using the Archimedes add-on, which already has a glass material. Let's add a new material to our module. Click this button and select glass material. We can delete this window now. Select these two faces and assign the glass material. This glass material is transparent. We don't want that because we don't have anything inside this building and we don't want to show that. So we'll make the inside of this building not visible from the outside. Therefore, decrease the value of color in refraction BSDF. We can delete these faces in the back if we want. I modeled some other modules of the camera, including these wall modules for the ground floor and these columns. One important thing to note is this point of origin. Make sure your model and the model you are replacing has a similar point of origin related to the model. In other words, if the original model has its point of origin towards the middle of this edge, make sure your model also has the point of origin towards the middle of this edge. Otherwise, the position of your new model would be misplaced in the building. One other thing, make sure the rotation of your columns and the columns that you are replacing has a similar rotation. And you need to apply the rotation too. The next step is creating module collections. Select these columns and move them into a new collection. I'll name it P, P for pillars. The other important thing is renaming the modules. Even though you don't rename these modules, the node setup is going to identify which is which. However, it is easy for you to keep track of these new modules. So you can easily identify them later if you want to make any changes. 
Therefore, I am going to copy the original names. Do the same for the walls as well. Move them into new collections. MF for middle floors, uh, GF for ground floor. <laughs> but not for anything else, right? Let's go to geometry nodes. Select this middle floors node and select your collection of the modules like so. Do the same for the ground floor also. I want this building to look modern. So I'm going to remove these props. Alright then, we are almost at the end. Isn't it better if we can change this without uh, coming to geometry nodes tab ever? Yeah, we could totally do that. Add the group input node like this and connect these inputs to the group input node. Now you can see them in the modifiers tab. And press N to see this group tab. Now we can rename these inputs like this. Do the same for the middle floor walls as well. So that's it for this video guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed my content and subscribe me for more Blender Arctis videos. What do you want to see next? Let me know in the comments. For now, click one of these videos in the screen. So I have included a link in the description where you can find the modules that I used in this video and bunch of other ones. So that's your gift and go check it out.